All right, everyone, welcome. My name is Mike Roberts. I'm the president and founder of SpyFu. Uh, today, we're going to talk about our new product launch, a uh, new free product called Keyword Groupie. Uh, hopefully, um, if you signed up for the webinar, you may, uh, you may already know about uh, Keyword Groupie, and, and we're actually going to go in and, and show you a bunch of uh, tricks and um, tell you where it came from and how it ties into the, um, you know, the content marketing and pay-per-click um, process. Um, Today we're actually going to take your questions and your suggestions live on the air, um, and uh, you can do that through. Uh, you can actually tweet your suggestions or your comments or your questions uh, directly to us at at SpyFu. Uh, you can use the uh, Go to Webinar chat down in the lower right hand of your uh, of your Go to Meeting or Go to Webinar uh, client, um, and we'll also uh, there's a bunch of tweets that I'm going to uh, a bunch of links in this vid in this presentation. And we'll tweet those uh, live um, to pound spy foo. So, uh, without further ado, here what I'm going to cover is. Um, by the way, the um, I don't know if you can see, you should be able to see this, but the, those those Twitter accounts are, are at the bottom of this page here, uh, basically at the bottom of every page. So you don't actually have to remember them. So what I'm going to cover is first of all, what is keyword groupie? Uh, then where is it? Where did it come from? Um, how can I use it? Uh, and then we're going to talk about secret tricks to keyword grouping. Um, none of these things have been covered in anything except for this webinar. Uh, so you'll have a leg up on everyone when you see these tricks. Um, we're also going to talk about customer feedback that we've received in the last week and how we've uh, actually uh, integrated some of, those, uh, some of that feedback, actually all of that feedback, into the, uh, into the product. Uh, then I'm going to talk about what's up next for SpyFu and, and um, you know, how does Keyword Groupie relate to that, and then we'll take your questions. In fact, we'll actually try to take your questions uh, in line. As if we get them you know, while I'm actually talking, we'll have Cedra um, potentially interrupt me. Um, well, sort of interrupt me. We'll see how that works. Just like how, this. How that works. Yes, that's Cedra right here. Cedra. I'd be happy to interrupt you. All right. Um, so, first of all, what is Keyword Groupie? Well, Keyword Groupie is this, this new tool where you can type in your domain, uh, any domain, and see uh, uh, a list of all of their keywords broken down into categories. It's kind of like um, going to Home Depot and having, having everything laid out in aisles for you. So, what this does is it, is, it, is it eliminates a lot of the really painful work that you do when you set up a pay-per-click campaign or when you're setting up uh, a content marketing plan. Uh, you can take a look at the uh, at the intro video to uh, Keyword Groupie. I don't mind if you click off and go and take in a little side adventure. Um, each of these Bitly links are customized, um, and so the first one is Mr. Spy One Bitly slash Mr. Spy One, Mr. Spy, whatever. Or you can head over to uh, Keyword Groupie and uh, and give it a test drive. And, um, and we're happy to uh, have you do that and uh, give us your feedback live as you're, as you're experiencing it. So that's spyfoo.com slash lab slash keyword dash groupie or keyword groupie or any kind of combination of these things will all take you to the same place. So it basically automated, it builds these, it builds these groups automatically. As I was talking about Home Depot, um, right now, if you use Spyfu or if you use the Google keyword tool or if you use any, you know, any word tracker, any, you know, number of millions of keyword tools, really, not millions, but at least dozens or hundreds, you end up with like a, a, a list, um, maybe a spreadsheet, um, where if you want to do anything with those 389,000 organic keyword or keywords from Home Depot, you really need to organize them. And that is the tedium that exists in search marketing and keyword marketing uh, pay-per-click today, right? So uh, what, what Keyword Groupie does is it lets you put in the domain homedepot.com and not just look at their organic keywords, but you can also look at this thing called their organic keyword universe um, or their paid keywords or their paid keyword universe. What the paid keyword and organic keyword universe means is not just their competitor, or not just their keywords, not just the ones that we've seen them advertise on or rank on organically in Google, but all of their competitors too. So it really gives you a very broad picture, but then we break it down so you see um, you've got uh, 
you know, almost like like aisle by aisle, right? So you got here, you know, lighting and then doors and then electric and flooring and then and then you drill on, drill down under flooring and you have, you know, laminate and hardwood floor and tile. And uh, and the, and these numbers on the side here by default, those are uh, those are the number of keywords. So under flooring, you have 30, they have 3,700 uh, keywords, and then you drill down into laminate, and there's 392 keywords, and it's beautifully organized so that you can build, you know, articles or you can build ads, you know, keyword groups um, around these things without, without, you know, basically spending weeks of uh, awful, awful, laborious tedium uh, breaking down 389,000 keywords. Now, your campaign may not have that many, right? You may only have, you know, a few thousand uh, or a thousand keywords. But in any case, that's still going to take you hours. So that's what we're cutting into. So where did Keyword Groupie come from? Well, Keyword Groupie is actually an offshoot of, of a really big project that we're working on, um, which is Spifu Recon Files. And uh, you can check out Spifu Recon. You can sign up for the beta list there at spifu.com slash recon. And, um, and then we'll, you know, there's a video on there that tells you, basically shows you how, uh, you know, what the, what the overall concept of Keyword Group is, or I'm sorry, Spifu Recon is. Uh, and um, the best part is really that you can sign up for the beta list and in a, in a, in a month here, looking at my board, in a month here, it's kind of scary. Uh, you'll actually be able to get a, get get reports. Um, you can imagine, you know, this process of breaking down 389,000 keywords for Home Depot, and uh, and now into into article sized chunks. Well, now Keyword Groupie does that for you. And what if we could automatically create month end reports that make clients uh, not just satisfied with the services, but want to buy more services, and um, what if we could calm down that volatility? And here's where Keyword Groupie really, you know, creates a lot of value, and this is why we built it, is we want, we want SEOs to be able to talk to their clients not just about the volatile keyword, right, the keyword, but we want them, you know, we don't want them to talk about rings the word, we want them to talk about rings the group, right? Which, make, which, which is, I don't know, what is it here? It looks like it's uh, 3,166 keywords. So there's a lot less volatility in that, in that group of keywords. If you're doing a good job as an SEO, you're, you're going to see rings as a group of keywords, including engagement rings and gold rings and sterling rings. And you got, I mean, in here you got, uh, you know, a seven carat diamond ring and you got one carat diamond ring, all these things you're going to increase your rank on them, right? So you can go to your client and say, look, on rings in general, we're constantly improving. And, um, you know, there's uh, 615,000 searches per month on this group of keywords. And if we make a 25% gain on that, just a 25% incremental gain, we'll pick up 65,000 more clicks per month, right? That's powerful. And, and it's not volatile. So, we took this back to our, you know, our SEOs and we asked them for feedback. And uh, this video is is also uh, is also online here. It's uh, um, MR Spy Four. Um, and what we got back was, wow, that's you know basically awesome, right? Um, we got a lot of great feedback. We also got some things where they were like, you know what, I'd like you to change this. And um, and that's you know basically what we've been doing for the last few months is making the changes uh, and. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting your feedback uh, when we have the chance to show you um, the chance to show you uh, Spifu Recon. But today we're talking about Keyword Groupie, and what I want to do is show you Keyword Groupie in action, and I'm going to show you some of the secret tricks, um, how to if I can figure out how to use my computer. I'm going to show you some secret tricks. Um, here we go. So first without, let's see. Okay, here we go. Got my computer going. All right, so, so here's what you do. You go to spyfu, uh, spyfu.com slash lab slash keyword groupie, and you type in a domain. So we're gonna go with Zales, because that, that was the example that I was using before, right? We hit groupify, and what you see is you've got, these, you've got my organic keywords, 
And again, my organic keywords are all the keywords that, that Zales.com ranks on organically. We drill into this and uh, we can see that same, that same 3,166 3, um, rings and you can drill, that, drill down further and you got engagement and you got diamond engagement and emerald, uh, emerald cut. Um, and then finally we have the keywords. Okay, so at this level, we are one, two, three, four levels deep before we get into the, the keywords themselves. So this is a perfect size for an article, right? You could write an article about emerald cuts and, uh, and uh, that, would, that, would be, that would be how you would use that for organic. So what you do here is you can add these keywords in and they pop up over here uh, on the right. And once you've done that, you can then export those. But we can actually go through and add as many of these as we want. And you don't even have to drill into that. You can just click here and click here. And it's like a little shopping list of keywords, uh, all categorized. And you can export those into um, Excel or, or whatever and, and, then, uh, and then start running you know, whatever campaign you want to run from there. Um, on the organic side, uh, we're talking about all of the keywords that, that, that Zales.com ranks on on Google organically. When we're talking about the paid keywords, we're talking about all the keywords that, that we've seen them show up on in, in Google AdWords. And um, I want to I wanna make, make something really clear. Actually, I'm going to kind of drill this home. On, when, when we're talking about organic keywords in these groups, a single keyword like emerald diamond engagement ring, right? This, this one keyword could show up in many different groups, like five or ten different groups under, uh, on the organic side. On the paid side, a single keyword will only show up in one group. So that's why you see under the paid side a smaller number in each of these groups because a single keyword is only going to show up in one group. And that's really important when you're setting up an AdWords campaign, right? Because what you don't want is is to be you know bidding on the same keyword more than once. You you want to be bidding on the same keyword only once. Um, otherwise, you'll be double bidding and you don't know which ad's going to show up, right? So that's 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 a pretty critical thing. On the other hand, when you're setting up a content planning campaign, uh, you know when you're doing uh, when you're doing SEO, you want to write about the same keyword more than once. It's a very symbiotic thing in that sense uh, for you to have the same keyword in, in more than one article. 